what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord, for what. Hey, everyone. Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I got something in the mail. Oh yeah, got me some Uncle Jim's Worm Farm worms, uh, some red wigglers. And um, I got these actually for my uh, aquap aquaponic system. So I basically want to do a little experiment. Um, I want to be, uh, or I want to add some of these red wigglers to my aquaponic grow beds. Um, there were some issues that I was having with, um, you know, like root systems and stuff building up. And then also a little bit of fish solids. And so um, I've noticed that these worms actually eat um, fish waste. Um, and I haven't done videos on it yet, but I've actually strained out some of the fish poo and put them in the little balls. And if you were following me on Instagram, you would see that I did little short videos over there. Um, just showing how the worms eat it. Um, there's probably over a pound of worms, I mean a pound of poop that they ate overnight. Um, and those are the ones that I have in this uh, worm tower. Here, okay so what I plan on doing is adding worms straight to my grow beds now so that is what I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna talk about some of the issues uh, a little more in detail that I was having and then also some of the benefits of the worms so let's go ahead and get to it all right so um, I'm also gonna be adding some of the worms into this fully water uh, bed here. I use this to grow out fry, like uh, guppy fry and stuff, but eventually this is going to be a little tank that I'm going to use um, once I get something to filter out more solids, which the worms is going to help with this now. Um, but I'm going to be basically setting this up most likely to be like a uh, fancy goldfish uh, grow out tanks. So they don't need deep water and I'm probably adding a net over it and stuff like that. But Anyway, I'm going to add some worms to this because there's a lot of solids in here. Um, and I'm sure you guys can see that, but I want to see if they'll actually um, break some of that down. And not to worry, they're not going to drown because this water is super aerated and they breathe oxygen through their uh, skin. So anyway, let's get some in the grow beds. All right, so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use uh, a strainer actually. Okay, and this is how I do it. Well, I wanted to show you guys kind of a little lower down, see how it's all wet. Um, that's because these are flood and drain systems and so the water comes up to that point and then drains back out which oxygenates the water. <laughs> Can't say it so so anyways I'm gonna put this down like that and then I'm gonna start adding some worms and try to get try to get some footage of it but uh, this is gonna be a slow process so I might not give you too much but Let's go ahead and let's uh, start adding worms to that. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to keep out as much dirt as I possibly can, but it's really not that important to keep this stuff out. It's it's basically coconut core, and um, it won't do anything to the system, and the worms will eventually eat it anyways. Um, so yeah, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm gonna try to sift out a lot of it so I don't have to deal with that floating around in my water. All right, so to this grow bed, I'm gonna add just a good handful I got over a thousand worms, I'm sure, here. Um, Mary and them over there at uh, <clears throat> Uncle Jim's Worm Farm, they hooked me up. Uh, but yeah, boy, that is a lot of worms right there. So I'm going to add those to this right here. And the light is going to send them down into that grow media pretty quick. Um, of course, you're not going to be able to see all of that, um, but I just wanted to talk about some of the um, some of the benefits. You know, I'm going to add some of these pebbles here um, just to kind of give them some shade. Um, some of the issues I was having is, um, you know, my sweetheart she took out some onions um, from the grow beds, and I also took out a pumpkin plant that had like long roots. And I got most of the pumpkin plant out, but my wife, she did not know that you need to remove most of those uh, root systems. So what ended up happening was is, uh, the roots rotted out in the grow bed and it actually caused uh, an ammonia spike in my system and it lasted until the roots were gone basically. Now I do have some worms already in my system, but I needed more. 
And so what ended up uh, happening was is eventually the worms got through it, but now I wanna really add some worms to these grow beds so that I'm not having issues like that anymore. Um, so, and then the other thing is is that uh, sometimes when I'm going through the grow beds and stuff, you can see some solids, fish waste uh, solids that are building up in the system. And although that's not really that bad, um, it's just a good idea to have these worms in the system to really break down those things. So for those two reasons, I, those two reasons that I that I already told you about the roots and the uh, buildup of solids, I decided to get more uh, worms or red wigglers uh, to take care of the solids and the buildup of you know my gr uh, solids in my grow beds and then root systems that have died or decayed or decaying. Um, some of the benefits of the worms, um, the worms will eat dead or dying roots, right? Or leaves even. So if you have leaves, like let's say I have leaves, right? Um, I could actually add a little bit of those to the system um, and then they can eat those, okay? So um, so they'll take care of roots, uh, dying roots, leaves, and, and you know, any, any plant matter that builds up in a system like this. Um, when they eat dead, like when they eat the dead pieces around the roots, they actually make it to where the plant can absorb oxygen better. Um, so um, in dirt, they dig through the soil and they make it to where oxygen can get to the roots and the plants can take up the roots or the, uh, the oxygen better. But in an aquaponic system, there's no problem with oxygen in the system. It's just around the roots, maybe dead plant matter or dead roots is built up around the root system. So the worms will go in there, they'll eat that off and then um, then basically at that point the root system can take up the oxygen. Their poop is the best natural fertilizer I can think of other than maybe fish waste, right? <laughs> that means actually increased yields of crops because their fertilizer is really good. Also as they breed I can take some of the worms out of this system and I can actually feed them back to my aquaponic fish which is awesome, right? Because it's like a food that ate fish poop that you feed back to the worms. So it's like a closed loop system, which is pretty awesome. And then the obvious thing, uh, I don't know if anybody, anybody out there goes fishing, but I do. And um, so you can use these worms for fishing. So anyways, that's how I add them to my grow beds. Um, since there's so much oxygen in, in the water uh, at any one time, my flood and drain system, like my grow beds here, and uh, that mixed in with the air stones that I have in the fish tanks, I don't have to really worry about the worms drowning or, or leaving the system because this is like an ideal uh, situation for them. They love it. So um, I want to try adding some of them to that, uh, to that other fry tank or whatever. So I'm going to take a little tiny handful and put them in there as well. And then I'll give you updates on it and see how they survived in there. I hope they don't drown, which I don't think they, they will. They've never, I've, ne I've put them in there before one and it lasted in there for like over a month and I just ended up just taking it out but then I thought well maybe it'll eat some of the the buildup of the fish waste and stuff that's in those those little grow beds over there so let's go ahead and put, pop a little handful in there I'm gonna fill all these out with the worms that I have and um, they'll go down and and they'll start taking care of a lot of the waste that's building up in the system and then I'll start looking for eggs and stuff in, inside the system so anyway let's go over there and throw a little handful in that uh, little tank those little black grow beds. All right, so I'll just add these for now. I gotta sift through that stuff and really get the coconut core because I don't want it floating around in here. But I'm gonna add these worms to this and see how they go over the next uh, probably a couple weeks. And you know, just kind of take note of the waste that's in here. It's not crazy, but it's enough for me to basically want to start cleaning it. So we will see how these little guys do. Excuse the camera work. <laughs> I'm a one man show. So anyways, and the guppies, as far as I know, they won't eat them. So we will see how they, how they do. Um, what I'm hoping is that they don't die. But like I said, I had one, I had one in here, two actually. I had two in, in this actually particular bed for over a month and it never died. So of course they'll dig themselves down underneath the muck in here and um, I'm assuming go to work. 
so start eating so and like I said plenty of oxygen in the water and that's due to a lot of different reasons the flood and drain system alone is tons of oxygen and then um, my fish tank has <clears throat> an air stone so anyways if you guys like this video uh, please give it a thumbs up and um, got more videos going uh, check out my other channel the fish tank I'm working on that one more often now and I'm gonna start doing nano fish tanks and and this I kind of th this all kind of bleeds together I do gardening but then I also when I was a kid I did uh, I did um, fish tanks and stuff and so this all blends together and who knew it was gonna blend together right I'm, who knew so anyways it's blending together now and so now I'm gonna do the two fish tank or the uh, fish tank and the home farm ideas so anyways if you guys want to see the fish tank channel click here or wherever I put it and uh, subscribe so I got tons of video updates that I'm gonna be bringing over there as well and it's gonna basically be blending uh, fish tank stuff and aquaponics and gardening so anyway God bless you guys like always and uh, yeah peace thank you guys so much for watching our video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates oh yeah we do have other channels now so please check them out like always God bless